Hi guys, uh, Paul here, um, and uh, today I'm going to be uh, doing a, a shave with a uh, soap uh, called the uh, um, Essence of Scotland Mountain U. This is the uh, pass around uh, soap that uh, Scott Hamilton started uh, uh, from the Big Shave. Um, this is uh, soap is from the uh, gentleman's groom room in Dundee, Scotland, and um, Scott is from that area and uh, he was kind enough to start this pass around so I'm going to go ahead and uh, use it today as it's my turn to uh, try the soap out. Uh, I am familiar with the uh, Gentleman's Groom Room products. I have the uh, Sweet Sweet Gale. Um, I'm able to get these uh, soaps locally um, at a, uh, a shave shop uh, here in the Phoenix area uh, called uh, the Razors Emporium which I'm sure uh, many of you are familiar with uh, uh, for their uh, work on uh, um, replating razors but they also have uh, uh, a fairly decent line of uh, shaving soaps and some brushes and and uh, whatnot so um, and they do carry uh, this line of products uh, so um, the uh, essence of Scotland soaps are a uh, glycerin based soap and uh, this one has a very um, strong uh, kind of uh, pine or fur smell to it and uh, that's really what comes out uh, in uh, to me um, is that kind of sharp uh, uh, resiny pine sort of scent and uh, um, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, start lathering. I'm using my, uh, uh, this is a custom uh, brush that was made by uh, uh, Tony at Pancetta in Scottsdale <coughs> and uh, if you don't know Pancetta is a brick and mortar store for, uh, uh, owned by the same people that owned uh, the Golden Nib that sell uh, the knots that many people use to uh, re-knot their vintage brushes and uh, put in their custom brushes and this uh, is indeed one of their knots. This is their 26 millimeter two band finest knot uh, and the two band finest knot uh, to me is one of the best uh, uh, knots that you can get for ref uh, refurbishing uh, um, refurbishing uh, vintage uh, shaving brush handles or putting in your uh, custom handles. Um, I think this brush offers really uh, some of the best bang for the buck uh, that you can find out there and uh, it's really a fine fine uh, knot. So I'm just going to go ahead and lather the soap up. I've uh, found that uh, with my Sweet Gale that it lathers pretty easily. Um, even though it's a glycerin based soap it usually forms a pretty decent lather and uh, I've just kind of squeezed the brush out and I'm just kind of creating a little bit of a proto lather here on the uh, on the puck and uh, uh, once, I, once this kind of thickens up a little bit which is pretty much there I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish up the uh, lathering process on my face so uh, I have showered and I've applied a little uh, Alt Innsbruck uh, uh, pre post uh, emulsion to my face and uh, put the water on my face and we'll go ahead and get started So, to me, the uh, the sweet gale, which has uh, uh, some, uh, uh, is also scented with some scotch and some other kind of spicy scents, smells a lot like uh, Coca Cola uh, to me. Uh, this one, really a nice uh, kind of pine uh, fur sort of smell with some other spices in there. Uh, it says uh, uh, fragrance with juniper, natural honey, mixed spices, kajaput cypress and fir and uh, uh, I would say that that pretty much describes it um, and as you can see it lathers pretty easily and that's pretty much been my experience with these uh, these products uh, and uh, even though they're a glycerin based soap uh, they do lather really nice and, and form a nice uh, thick slick protective lather so I think we're pretty much there let me just add a little water to it just for good measure. And just add a little more on the other side here. And just smooth it out. Okay, and I'm going to dump the water out of my scuttle and put the brush in my brush scuttle here. And just kind of 
clean off the boundaries of the shade. And uh, for any of you who don't know, I, I use a, uh, since I face lather primarily, I use a, a, a brush scuttle to keep my brush and lather warm. And this is a, uh, this brush scuttle comes from the Dirty Bird. It's basically two, two vessels, uh, an inner and outer. You fill the out, uh, outer one with water and then you just put the inner one in there and uh, stick your brush in there. It keeps the lather nice and warm. Um, so you get the benefit of a scuttle without, uh, um, you know, having to bowl lather. So today I'm using my uh, Mergris. Uh, uh, this was, uh, I did have a progress and I sent it off to uh, Lee's Razors to have it uh, uh, converted to the Mergress, have the, uh, have it recalibrated and have the uh, metal uh, adjustment knob on there. I think it turned out really nice. It's a nice, ra nice razor, great weight to it. And I'll be using a Pulse Silver uh, Super Iridium blade. So here we go. I have my Mergress set on four. Um, I will usually use this razor on uh, three or four. And for my adjustables, I'm pretty much a set it and forget it guy. I just pretty much set it on the setting that I like and I'll just continue to uh, use that same setting throughout the whole shave. I don't adjust up and down throughout the shave at all. Okay, use the first pass with the grain. And I'll go ahead and reapply my lather. This, the two band finest knot is really uh, nice and soft, nice soft tips, nice firm backbone. Um, I do like to tend to set the loft on my brushes a little bit lower. I think I measured this one at about 49 to 50 millimeters of loft, which for a 26 millimeter brush seems to be uh, kind of a good spot for me. So I think that helps enhance the backbone a little bit, uh, although the knot does have good backbone uh, to begin with. This is a bulb shaped knot. Um, I don't believe that the larger knots come in the fan. Uh, I am a big fan of their 24 millimeter uh, extra hair two band fan shaped knot, but the uh, bigger ones I don't believe come in the, the fan. I've only seen them in the bulb, so um, and that's what I have in this one, which is fine. It works great. I, it's really not a pronounced bulb. It's kind of almost a, uh, like a hybrid sort of knot. So. So the second pass is a uh, across the grain uh, pass. Okay, and there we go. I'm gonna put the water on my face here. And I really do like the scent of this uh, uh, soap. Um, I like uh, kind of woodsy uh, scents, and I like, you know, the smell of pine. Um, kind of reminds me of uh, walking through the woods as a kid, uh, and uh, growing up in uh, eastern Washington state. Um, you know, we'd have a lot of pine trees and pine forests around, and so being out in the out in the woods, it kind of you know, reminds me of the scent you'd get out there in the fall or something like that. And, um, I find it uh, very uh, pleasant. You know, some other soaps that kind of uh, run along that line are like the Mike's uh, Cedarwood and Pine. That's another one with a real nice kind of pine scent. And the uh, um, Queen Charlotte Celestial Wood is also a nice one, although that's more of a, has more of a cedary scent to it than uh, the pine, but uh, another nice woody uh, scented cream. So. Uh, if you like wood scents, those are some uh, that are worth uh, trying uh, along with this one. Um, if you don't like woody scents, then uh, you probably want to steer clear of those. Okay, second across the grain.
I, I do like this blade. This blade is uh, quite smooth. Um, Uh, it's actually very nice. So. Okay, so I'm just going to do a last pass. I'll just do a uh, across the grain here, uh, uh, against the grain here on the neck and the cheeks. And uh, on the neck. I've already done the against the grain on the cheeks because only third pass going up is against the grain. So I won't, uh, won't do that again. And again, lots of lather. Holy moly. Okay. Trouble spot right there. Right on my Adam's apple, always a problem area. And we just do a little touch up right over in here. other side as well. Alright, good. So, let's go ahead and clean the soap off my face. Um, in kind of sticking with the uh, sort of pine theme. I'm going to go ahead and be using my uh, Campert's uh, finest uh, frostbite aftershave. Um, as, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, scented with uh, frankincense and peppermint and uh, the frankincense to me smells a lot like pine. So, um, go ahead and apply this. This is an alcohol-free aftershave. Um, some of you guys from the Big Shave and uh, have asked me about this, and uh, I really like it. Um, it doesn't have any real burn to it uh, because of the lack of af uh, alcohol. Um, it does have a pretty nice menthol uh, content to it, but unlike your typical menthol splashes like uh, Osage Rub and Beto's Colonia, Ice Colonia, uh, you know, Aqua Velva, Floyd uh, Vigoroso. Uh, the al the uh, menthol is not, uh, it doesn't hit you like right off the bat. It's sort of, uh, you put the stuff on, get this nice uh, pine and uh, peppermint smell. And then a couple seconds later, you start to feel this chilling effect on your face. And, uh, um, and then it kind of builds and builds and it's really, uh, uh, really a pleasant experience. So, um, I really like it. it. It also, even though it's a real liquidy, it does have a, some kind of moisturizing uh, characteristics to it. So it's almost like a, a splash combined with a balm. And it, it's a great product. I really like it and I've been just thrilled with it. Uh, I'm going to finish it off with a, a little Razor Rock 888 uh, Eucalyptus uh, um, Aftershave Wax just to add, give a little added moisturization. And that's pretty much it. So all in all, uh, I would give the uh, I give the uh, Essence of Scotland products uh, two uh, hearty thumbs up. It, it's these are really great soaps. They're easy to lather. Um, I have uh, the hard water, and uh, if I can lather it, uh, I think probably most people would not have much of a problem. I think uh, for me with any of the soaps, the key is um, uh, you know shaking out your brush uh, and giving it a little squeeze. There's still plenty of water in the brush, and then. Uh, uh, create, creating a nice proto lather on the puck, uh, uh, almost even like a creating an actual lather where it's kind of thickened and not bubbly at all. 
uh, before you lather up to your face. If you do that, I think you won't have any problem with this. Uh, great product, great scent. Thanks a lot, Scott, for letting me try it. And I will be passing it on to the next person who I think on the list is uh, Seth Crosland. So uh, anyways, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.